Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. I am Lord Vorrent, here playing as the Ottomans, who are now being widely hated the entire world over. <laughs> At the rate I'm going, I'll probably have almost everybody in the world wanting to kill me. Um, we are currently engaged in a war versus these countries. Um, it's technically against Lubeck, but I intend to take out as many people as possible. At the same time, we do have a growing coalition against us with France involved. Um, England has a chance to join, which is a little worrisome. But if need be, we do have quite a bit of professionalism we can uh, waste, although I would prefer not to. So here we go. We're going to hopefully win this. Um, we still have some core construction to do. It shouldn't be the biggest issues. And, oh yeah, there's the Brandenburgian Separatists down here. I'm still marching my way across to get to them. Uh, Verden, I don't really want to keep wasting military power harsh trading stuff, but I guess I can afford to. We are at 100% absolutism, and we are in a golden age. So, uh, yeah. We've got a pretty good shot at beating anybody in a straight war. Of course, the issue becomes if they're not in a straight war versus us. Uh, apparently, Switzerland is in the war, so I should be going after them now. Uh, da -da, da -da, da -da. There we go. That looks good on that end. Uh, what's going on here? England and France are at war. Oh, English Columbia is attacking Great Britain. Whoa. Sorry. They usually don't ever manage to revolt. Yeah. English Columbia is attacking English Columbia. Okay. Actually, no. It looks like English Columbia up here is the one that's attacking Great Britain. That's a little confusing, even though they are spelled differently. Spain has actually left the coalition versus us because they are fighting France as well. Okay. Lots of stuff going on. Um, oh, yes. There is a chance here, if we're not careful, that Lubeck will fall to the wrong people. Okay, let's move these guys south then. Keep uh, reinforcements going there for my Army's trying to defeat the Dutch. You, on the other hand, I'm going to move back to my territory. Uh, hope I could find a province where my guys aren't starving. We are only working with about 20,000 men for the rest of this war, unless we waste professionalism, which I'd prefer not to do. Uh, we can construct the Kiel Canal. Okay, what... The Suez Canal costs twice as much. <laughs> uh, not for the moment, I don't think. I'll wait on that. I will want to construct the canals once I get the sh uh, chance to and enough money to, because they are very useful. In the meantime, however, seeing as I'm going all out as a warmonger these days... Let's get some barracks and training fields, technically, just so I get some manpower. More manpower. There we go. I don't even want to know how many of the buildings those are. Suffice to say, it's a lot. Okay, we are getting 6,000 per month. That should buff it up to about 7 or so when it's actually complete. We are, in fact, fighting Milan, so I can go after them. Oh, Scholar's expired. Uh, yeah, I'll take you back. Looks like I managed to prevent my extra merchant from disappearing, which is good. Still waiting on the Dutch forts to fall. Or Brandenburg to say it can't beat Lubeck in a war and give up. 
Knowing them, though, they'll probably take Pomerania. Actually, no, they can't take Pomerania unless they take Blue Back, and they can't take Blue Back yet. Okay, let's eliminate Milan. I'm being a bit ruthless about eliminating nations at this point. Usually I try and not just rampantly eliminate people, but considering the coalitions I've been fighting, I might as well just become sort of Napoleonic in my conquests. I'm at war with everybody. You want a war? You want a war. Everybody wants a war. Um, more impressively, the coalition's actually getting smaller. <laughs> We might have actually managed to somewhat stabilize our manpower. Oh, poor France is going to lose these fights, though. Are they? I think they will. Oh boy, is it laggy all of a sudden. France lost. Darn. Okay. Come on. <laughs> it's just lag heaven right now. Uh, Brandenburg has revolted up there. Did we... You're still marching there. Okay. At least our war exhaustion was under control. Why is it so large now? It's just pure attrition, eh? What do it would take to dismantle the HRE? More than I'm get I got right now, okay. That's fallen, good. Oh, we are at war with Hamburg? We are at war with Hamburg. Okay, that's another small nation we can attempt to eliminate. Assuming you can actually ever punch through their sheer uh, fort defense. Hamburg has a very nice fort defense ability, plus 25%, which makes it slightly harder to eliminate them as a nation, especially late game. You just wait them out, but it's still slow. We are, n are, we fi we are fighting Treyer also. Okay. It's kind of hard to figure out who I'm exactly fighting at the moment. Oh, I actually cannot siege that fort at the moment. Really? No, I can't. Okay. Sorry, it was a little bit confused there. Uh, I don't believe I am fighting Flanders, no. Send you to Trier. Send you to there. Advance you to there. Saving that army because they're just too big to move around. March you over, though. Let's see. Bohemia's land is slowly falling. I'll send you up there as well. Anyone else I'm at war with? Doesn't look like it. it really comes down to when does Brandenburg actually leave this war? What are you marching to? Oh. Going a bit of the long way around, I see. There goes good old Serbia, though, sieging things for us. Eric's fell, so this should be their capital, right? Holland? Where is the Dutch capital today? Gelt Free? No, Friesland. Okay. Uh, so I don't actually need to send two armies there. The Dutch would be a cool little army to, a uh, cool nation to eliminate, or at least take most of their land. I could actually eliminate them. Wow. Oh, I'm kind of tempted to try. 
that would inevitably throw England into the coalition. But at this rate, England's going to be joining the coalition anyway. I think this is the largest amount of sieges I've ever had going, except when I was losing a war with Russia. That was an epic uh, campaign, my Russia one. So much defeat. Doing so well, and then I just messed it all up. You're not willing to surrender yet. Praha has fallen. We're getting close to the end of this war, which is good, because we're also negative manpower. Swiss do not want peace yet. Okay. Actually, the longer this war goes on, in some ways, the better. Because then the coalition, which is actually the only one in it is, turns Oxana and Achin. Um, better off we are. And more importantly, France is still fighting on on this side. How goes the war for English Columbia? Looks like they're losing. Okay. Hey, we now actually can see the New World. So this is the way it broke out. Florida. Huge Florida. Wow. I guess I can see what Fran devo France devoted its resources to. I don't know why it was called France Fran. That would be really bad. Uh, I'm going to actually reduce war exhaustion a little bit. There we go. Zealand has been occupied. Good, 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 good. Hemi wants peace. No good. The Swiss still don't want to surrender, nor does Trier. Okay. Okay, that's another one of the Bohemian provinces. Fallen. Lubeck is still under siege elsewhere. Okay, let's eliminate Bohemia. Go. More importantly, it connects a lot of my provinces here. And it's honestly kind of dirt cheap to take these provinces these days. The only real issue is how much money it's costing me in maintenance, but eh, it's not a big issue. Switzerland still does not want to surrender. Bavarian separatists... Um... Who do I want to send to deal with that? These two armies, I guess. <sighs> da -da -da -da. Camp Barrage here. Hamburg is still proving really tough to actually siege. I might actually send reinforcements to them. Enforce the siege there, reinforce the siege there, reinforce the siege there. I know more losses, but and nope, not, no progress on that front. The Swiss still don't want to surrender yet. Next month, probably, then they'll give up. Um, guns need men to fire them. Thank you. That actually solves a good portion of my manpower issues. Okay, that should be the Swiss. There we go. The Swiss are willing now to surrender. Massive progress on all fronts. The only thing I really have to watch out for would be, example, offending France so that they leave. We've got Russia still relatively under control. Um, let's see. Amanus, John, Per, Tunis, all are fairly happy with me. I should probably take one of these guys off of... Oh no, he's already on allies. Okay. He should be going to France. No, he's just been from France. Interesting. Okay, that should be... Burgundy pretty much ready to be wiped out. 
says I'm missing something. Burgundy, Burgundy. Did they colonize? Oh, they've got a union over Leinster. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to wipe them out completely. Okay. But I can do stuff like this. Actually, wait a second. I can't just... It's close. Okay, that's not going to work. Let's just take all their important lands. I'll leave them with Namur. It's not a useful province, so... Wow, almost 10,000. Assuming they would actually pay me that. Come on. So close. 500, 400, oh yeah, yeah, they don't actually want to pay me anything, which I guess is fair considering we just took the majority of their lands. Issues, we're probably going to lose France as an ally. Hmm. And we are massively overextended. Okay. I guess I could send France a gift. Sheesh, this is going to be expensive to keep France happy. Okay, it's keeping them relatively happy for the moment. Russia is actually becoming very happy with me. Which is rather bizarre. And Tunis could care less. <laughs> okay. Tunis could hardly care less. Um, okay, what are we looking at for rebels? I just got to check up on all this stuff. Right now, it doesn't look like I have a huge rebel issue. Uh, let's barrage you. Let's make sure I'm not suffering any casualties. I don't have to. Looks like all my casualties are necessary ones. Okay. Um, it's going to take a long while to core those lands. On the other hand, uh, it looks like all my forts have come through. It's almost another thousand per month. Swiss separatists apparently are a thing. I suspect there'll also be Brandenburgian separatists somewhere as well. We are so far in man uh, diplomatic debt. Wow. I wasn't paying attention to how much it was actually costing me. Whew. It was probably over 800 before I even noticed. That's not good enough. Oh, uh, Brandenburg is still wanting to fight on. Part of the key will be for me is not to take really any more land until I've cored what I've got. Which is going to be harder than it seems to be. Especially now because I can't reduce uh, war exhaustion anymore. On the other hand, I should be able to stay out from taking casualties enough that it should be go down eventually. Um, you know what? Let's just eliminate you. Eh, problem solved. Just gotta smash those rebels. France is having some serious issues fighting off England, so... It's a shame I can't help them, but I can't join that war. 
And I joined it to support rebels. And they get into trouble. It's always dangerous to support the rebellions in this game. Always dangerous. Let's actually look how the religion map is going. We are rapidly converting the HRA. Wow. However, we are going to be facing religious rebels soon, which I'm not terrified about. That's slowly growing. The real question is my manpower going up per month. Uh, I'm not entirely clear, but all I know is I'm going to be fighting rebels here, so. Looks to me like it's going up, but only a little bit. Um, prestige or diplomatic power? Prestige admin or diplomatic power? I'll go for diplomatic power. Might as well be sitting at 100% prestige. Little bonus there. I'll take money. Okay, I'm just throwing all those guys together because I don't actually have a general leading them. Um, do what you can. Yeah, even without a general, my rebels are... Huh, this is weird. So, apparently that's a Christian Osman Oglu leading the revolt against us. The Dutch army, Dutch have lost most of their land now. I just apparently have to deal with these Cologne, Colonian separatists. And after that, the war is pretty much over. I want to take Hamburg, of course. And take all the Dutch lands, but... Outside of that, we've pretty much narrowed it down to just those guys. Poor France, though. Okay. Those Dutch rebels have fallen. Yeah. Ugh, it's so slow right now. Even my computer can't handle this all. Oh, how the months and days did fly before. You know what, I might try turning it down speed, see if that actually goes faster. Well, going two speed down is almost it's seemingly the same speed as having it at full, so. Chinese Emperor in all but name, okay. Let's actually move these troops back into Bohemia. That way there, and there's the inevitable revolt. We've already got troops stationed there to wipe out a good portion of them. Interesting that I don't actually have any unrest here. I guess it's just all about the tolerance and, uh, obviously, the recent uprising. It's another province converted. Progress is good. Let's convert a big one, Hanover. Oh, looks like it was Praha that revolted. Good old Prague. It's interesting to see when they do and do not join coalitions against you. Okay, that is actually really good. So, Brandenburg pieced out with Lubeck, but took Pomerania, which is fine. Pomerania was not a needed country for my plan, so long as another one was eliminated the better. I am a little bit tempted to try and see 
if I should wait till I get these done. That would be January. Uh, I guess I can wait. Hello, cat. I just had a cat land on my lap with claws outstretched. Hello, feline. Okay, reconverting now. Clearly just trying to convert as many people as possible. Because it seems to give us um, mostly loyalty if they're converted. There are, of course, exceptions. And the overextension doesn't help. So pretty much it looks like we're going to have to squash every single rebel individually. But... And that fort apparently is going to take forever to fall. Um, you have any siege ability? You do. Go help. Um, I'll take that because then I can uh, I can't do anything on that front okay for some reason I thought I was supporting the uh, Domini or whatever Burgundy and Separatists Now the question starts to become, how do we get to Spain? Because by the time we're done, the HRE is pretty much going to be in ruins. I mean, true, there'll be countries left, but we're going to eliminate at least three more princes, so there'll be only 16 people in the empire. That isn't an empire. Commonwealth separatists. Okay, the Burgundians have been crushed. Hamburg has fallen. Twenty-seven aggressive expansion just from that. Wow. On the other hand, almost seven thousand gold from them. Wow. They are going to actually be rather difficult. Not actually, not that difficult to convert. Wow. Only 38 development. Interesting. I would have assumed they'd be higher. I'm going to wait till January. Uh, besides, I have to take Lubeck's capital anyway before I try and piece out the Dutch. France is barely loyal right now. Romanian separatists and Swiss separatists. Okay. Let's march you over. I think we've pretty much eliminated pretty much every major group. Except for like three now. No. Mainz has now been converted. That's progress. At this point it's just convert anybody we get the chance to convert. Falling on you, not going to accept the Duchess. Claims. Are you going to be able to win that? Uh, 23 versus 40. I guess we'd win that. Okay, and Burn has fallen. Speaking of burn, okay, that is a level 8 fort, good. We are almost dealing with this overextension. I'm a little surprised, actually, how little penalty we've had from overextension so far. Luckily, Prussia doesn't exist. Great Britain is not an issue. Russia is not an issue, and Austria is not really a problem anymore. Our next war should be against Austria and everybody, but we're not quite ready for that war. 
Mainly because it would also involve us fighting Great Britain, which would not go well. At the moment. The question is, who do we want to attack? We Honestly, I should launch another war before I finish this one. Would Venice be a good target? Venice is allied to only Brunswick, which means I could eliminate them and Venice. That might actually be a good move. Of course, I'm going to have to beat Venice at sea, but I think I can do that. And then once I get past Venice, then I can attack the Pope, which will summon in Denmark and Spain. Maybe I'll be able to call Russia to help me with Denmark. It's a very slow gain. Now it's become kind of a chess game of where do I move my armies and why am I moving them, where I'm moving them. Actually, no, I did want to send you there, didn't I? Okay, Lubeck has fallen. We are not ready for peace, though, at the moment. Eliminating the Dutch will be a huge victory. It'll also help France a little bit. Although I don't know how much I could help France. They are pretty much been overrun. Paris is holding, but that's about it. Okay, you are on the correct path. This march in our separatists, they'll be overrun instantly. Yeah. Because they revolted on my army, I get the defensive bonus, which is crazy. There's just so much going on in the world, world, world in terms of wars right now. Okay, I'll wait just till I take over a couple of these other ones. And then we will eliminate the Dutch. Time for you to go bye-bye, Dutch. I actually can't take all their land. Wow, okay. Oh, actually, it would send me below 999. Okay. How can I deal with that? Maybe one. I've already focused this as hard as I can. I can't promote you further. Uh, all I have is a royal marriage with John Purr. I don't particularly want to break that. Can I vassalize the Dutch? No, I can't. What else can I do? Not possible to create client states while at war. Huh. I could do that. That would pretty well cripple them. But it would still take me below 999. I could do that and force them to return cores. That would still take me. Uh, I can't force them to release nations. Apparently. If I did that, I could do that, which would really cripple them. But again, it would take me below 999. Hmm. I guess I could just do this, take these lands. Or I could do that. It's putting me a little bit closer. I can do that. That would leave them still with a good core of provinces, though. Then I should be able to demand money, I think. Yeah. Sadly, we didn't get as much from the Dutch as we wanted, but we did absolutely demolish them in terms of what land they control. We just stole, like, a couple hundred development from them. Okay, um... 
It's almost definitely going to be a Dutch revolt, though, so... Do that. And then it's a matter of taking loop back. We lost our alliance with France. That's a shame. But not terribly unexpected. Uh, speaking of armies, did I ever manage to kill those Brandenburgian separatists? I did. Okay. Get you back to Europe then. And figure out why I can't take Lubeck. I can take Lubeck. Okay. Lubeck has been taken. The only person I could rival is Russia, and I don't want to. France will be my enemy in the next war, which is fine, because I can now do Pasha in Paris if I want to. Um, I really should launch this war on Venice, though. That would be Venice and Brunswick, Aachen and Munster. Oh wait, I can't attack them. I have a truce with them, apparently. Brunswick has been overrun. Can I attack the Palatinate? I, in fact, can. And Burgundy would join and call their allies, which are the Netherlands and Aachen again. Okay, who else could I attack? I could take these guys. Uh... Attack these guys. Uh, well, it doesn't look like I'm going to get Venice at the moment. Astra and Meming. Okay. So if that's the case, I need to put troops on the Austrian border. That is a very large way to walk around it. Um, uh, Silesia, I could attack. There would be Hungary, Brandenburg, and Oldenburg. They might actually be a better target. I have apparently an exiled army. Oh, that's marching through Tunis. Ideally, I want to try and eliminate everyone on the continent before I even consider messing around with uh, the uh, English. If I attacked Austria, that would be too many, but if I attack the Palatinate, I've got a good shot at it all. Austria and the Netherlands are not an issue. The real problem now is, <laughs> can I get diplomatic power? That's actually become a serious problem. Let's see, I need... Ideally need someone of Turkish culture. And they're of Estonian. None of these are good. Shoot. I can't stop now, I've got to keep attacking. But I also do have to end this video. So this is a rather long one, but I did want to win that war. Next video, we will probably attack the Platinate and try and eliminate them, Austria. We'll see how many we can actually take, considering the diplomatic power cost. Which, if anyone knows how to reduce that, I'd be really glad to know. Um, but anyway, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.